When you're not happy with your file explorer and you want to replace it, you need to search for several options here and there, and there are plenty. So right now what you see, I'm not trying to advertise Epic Commander, an alternative to it at the moment, right? But what I did in order to investigate the issue, I gone over the alternatives to Free Commander, which broke on my computer. I fixed it later, but anyways, I just had to fix it and you'll see why in a second. So you see all of those alternatives, when you check them one by one, some of them are not free. Some of them immediately just say, well, it's not really a good idea to use this kind of file explorer because of the versatility of the uh, functionality that is exposed over there. And well, I reviewed those three sites. I viewed the screenshots and I found that Total Commander is not going to be doing anything for me because I just looked at the screenshots. It, it's not comparable to the free, com the free commander XC that I was using, but I found other ones and two other candidates were multi commander and double commander. So here is a little bit of comparison. This is the look and feel of my free commander XC and look and feel is very important for me because I'm using multiple screens and I want only the focus areas to be highlighted, right? So I don't care about all those menus. I don't want to, to, the screens to blast me with all the white uh, space that is not used, right? I want only the files that I use to be highlighted and all of the context and icons and everything else. And it's uh, across all of my applications on Windows. And in uh, Free Command XC, also you have the tabs up here in the top and you can control how they look and feel but in general what you want to care about is are they saved on exit can you just view them after restart is it uh, really fast or is, is there a comprehensive search option or something like that and uh, all of those functions are really really neat in free commander and of course my favorite one is the viewing which is not really the essence of the application, but uh, we need to understand that all file explorers show file and they files and they explore the files using various views like three view or like previews of all sorts and kinds, right? Something among those lines. So all of them do that. However, when it comes to tab management, when it comes to color management, when it comes to setting management, it becomes really, really different. And you'll see why. So let me show you the first one that I tried. And of course, I, I, when I open application and I see that the functionality kind of what I need, I will spend a little bit of time trying to figure out, can I tweak it to my needs? And this is the default view of the double commander. This is a full HD screen here, right? So why is it occupying so much space? I mean, look at that thing. And then, well, of course, you say, well, you know what? Probably there is a setting that would change this view to something normal, like a one click, you know, uh, like you used to have all this kind of stuff, but they added it somewhere. No, they didn't. And why all of those forts, fonts are in bold? I mean, come on, I can't read. If I would like to have a zoom view or something, I would change the window settings or anything, but come on, you cannot just tell me this is how it looks like. It's not very practical, especially for people that do need file managers. People that do need file managers, they kind of know what they're doing with their files. So I wouldn't go into that direction if I would be developing an application of this sort, but they did. So let's expand and see what's going on. So in terms of colors, there is no color schemes. If you want to control the colors, you need to do it them one by one. By one. It's a little bit of confusing here, right? It says, well, highlighted, button gray. No, you need to press apparently on that button and choose the color that you want, which would be, for example, white, right? And then in the background, you would go and choose black. Fantastic. What is this? Why are the uh, every second file is highlighted in different? Well, probably you want to uh, have a little bit of separation between how the uh, lines look like. So I can understand that and we'll do it and we'll see, okay, well, we have at least some functionality over here. Fantastic. Everything else is fine. When I selected everything else is fine. Fantastic. Now let's go and see what, 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 what about this text. And here again, you need to go to fonts and what, what, what's a default. If you click on a button over here to modify the setting, there is no default. 
Apparently default stands for some kind of an Aroni or something and you need to and then when you select bold or something like this it would say well default right so for example uh, there is regular regular or something like this and basically it stands for some kind of a bolded regular which we don't know so how how do you battle this well apparently the faster way to do it is just copy this over here and then override this one as well and then you need to play with the file uh, font size though let's set it to 10 and we're not reviewing the whole application i'm just trying to show you what what is uh, wrong with it because well you know how come that after opening the application it's not very usable in the first place right we're not going to tweak the file explorer xe for a good reason because out of the box it comes like this and you can change the color scheme the only thing that you need at the beginning is uh, like this right so it's very 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 fast and the second thing that you need to do in file explorer is go to settings and actually tell it to save the session every single time it's not the case over here the sessions are saved every single time but the div the, but the viewing is impossible so let me show you what happened we will not go back to the application we'll go to the file panels no actually yeah so oh my god what is that why the icons are so big well we need to fix the icons too let's tweak the icons too i i i don't know what to tell you but yeah, the icons need to be tweaked as well so we go to icons and we go and we change the settings to 16 on 16 and says well reboot the application well let's reboot the application fine fine i can do that for you oh let's open it and what is it that we see oh the color scheme is applies only to the canvas everything else over here is gray and it did not inherit any settings from windows in general so it's not one of those applications that will say well if your theme says x then i'm gonna do this x no i'm gonna do my own thing I'm going to look like I'm with uh, year 2000 and I wouldn't care about anything. So this application doesn't work for me because I really hate white spaces, especially when all of your windows is configured to be black. This thing pops. This thing pops out. I'm not trying to be, you know, like very perky or picky. No, this thing looks like half of my email client, right? Uh, so I cannot use it. Okay, fantastic. This application is done. Let's see the other one. This is the multi-commander. Okay, well, uh, this one has quick look and feel. Fantastic, quick look and feel. And uh, Windows Explorer compatibility does nothing for us. It looks practically the same. Okay, let's do a custom. And we'll go to colors and we we'll say, you know what, dark colors, apply. And it's like, okay, well, canvas again. What about this? I know, maybe there is a setting. So I'll go to configuration, I think. And then we go to where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? For settings, Explorer panel settings. But this panel, actually it has tabs uh, at the bottom, which cannot be moved. But still, you know what? I gonna say, well, I gonna modify the colors. And what do we have? We have only, only this. We can control up to the path field over here, this part, right? But nothing outside of the boundaries. So again, I cannot use it. And it's just look and feel. I'm not even touching the functionality because the functionality, man, come on. I right click everything that I need. And what was that? Okay. There was like a control, right? Control. Something really weird going on with this application. But anyways, any application will bring the context menu and will show all the available options when you need them. And then Control C, Control V, everything works. The functionality that provided by file explorers enhances your speed, right? So tabs, dual panels, all kinds of preview settings, and and very very good search. That's what you need from them. But when you do use the application and it looks like this, like this, right? You, Come on, you could do better. And this thing is being developed daily. So I don't understand this gap between them. I mean, when you build an application, you compare yourself to other people. And it doesn't seem the case with those guys. I mean, they compete in some kind of functionality, right clicks. And some of them have really, really nice menus, right? But here we go. Uh, I would prefer spending two hours fixing my 
Malta Commander XC, reading overnight until I find something or someone that mentions the proper fix rather than using or switching to any of those applications. And yeah, this is really bad. And uh, this is why I load my multi commander out of the box. Two settings that that's all we need to set to, to change how it views, well, the colors basically. And you can just tell it close all tabs, well, uh, save all tab positions on next. It's not enabled by default in order not to overwhelm new users because they tend to open too many of those tabs. And then, uh, yeah, it just. Um, it just goes uh, over the board for them, so they kind of overhelm. So I guess this is why they kept it out of the default settings, and it's really easy to change. So I hope you liked it. I hope it kind of clears the understanding of what a uh, proper commander, proper file manager looks like. See you in the next one.